In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on December 1, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Vegas Golden Knights vs. Pittsburgh Penguins We have a non-conference matchup between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Pittsburgh Penguins on Thursday evening at the PPG Paints Arena. The Golden Knights are first in the Pacific Division and are coming off a 3-2 shootout road win on Monday against the Columbus Blue Jackets. The Penguins are fourth in the Metropolitan Division and are on a two-game losing streak as they are coming off a 3-2 overtime home loss over the Carolina Hurricanes on Tuesday. This will be the first of two regular season meetings between these teams so that this could be a tone setter. The Golden Knights are 8-1 in their last 9 road games and 13-5 in their last 18 overall. The Penguins are 1-5 in their last 6 home games and 5-2 in their last 7 overall. The under is 4-0 in Golden Knights' last 4 overall. The under is 4-0 in Penguins' last 4 overall. The Golden Knights are 2-5 in the last 7 meetings. The favorite is 7-1 in the last 8 meetings. The over is 4-1 in the last 5 meetings. The Golden Knights have been inconsistent recently and have only won four out of their last nine games, including losses against the Sharks, Kraken, and Canucks in that span. The Penguins are a solid 5-1-1 to one to one in their last seven clashes. Furthermore, Vegas is giving up goals and the goaltending hasn't been nearly as effective recently. Logan Thompson has posted a subpar 2.88 goals against average this month and backup Adden Hill has a 3.8 goals against average in November. The Penguins have a potent defense. They feature an XGF 60 minutes of 2.91 goals, landing the fourth in the NHL and should take advantage of subpar goaltending on home ice. The Vegas Golden Knights in the underdog role are very attractive with how consistent they've been this season, and a win here would surprise nobody. However, the Pittsburgh Penguins are playing their best hockey of the season right now, and it feels like they're due for a breakout home victory as they've had some unusual struggles at home lately. So the Pittsburgh Penguins' money line is our full game side pick. The Golden Knights are consistently finding the back of the net, especially on the road where they have netted at least three goals in nine consecutive games. Pittsburgh is giving up a ton of shots, allowing an average of 33.9 shots per game, and goalies Casey DeSmith and Tristan Jerry both have a goals against average of at least 2.9. In addition, the Golden Knights haven't been at their best defensively. They have squandered 20 goals in their last six games, and the Penguins should take advantage. The over is 4-1 to one in the last five meetings between these foes. I expect a barrage of scoring. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Carolina Hurricanes vs. St. Louis Blues The Carolina Hurricanes face the St. Louis Blues in a matchup between two teams playing great in recent games. The Hurricanes have a 12-6-5 record and with back-to-back -back wins, have leaped near the top of the Metropolitan Division. The Blues have an 11-11 record and 7 wins in their last 10 games. They have made up ground in the Central Division. The Hurricanes look to continue to improve in the Metropolitan Division while the Blues are looking to continue to make up ground in the Central Division and the upcoming game looks to be a good one as a result. The Blues are 4-1 in their last five home games. The over is 4-0 in the Blues' last four games on Thursday. The under is 4-0 in the Hurricanes' last four games. The over is 3-0-1 in the Blues' last four after scoring two goals or fewer in their previous game. This is going to be a great game between two teams looking to continue to make up ground in their divisions. The Blues look to win the upcoming game at home, but the Hurricanes have won back-to-back -back games and look to control this one from the opening puck drop. The Hurricanes should pile on the goals against a Blues defense that is allowing 3.55 goals per game with Sebastian Ajo, Martin Neckes, and the rest of the forward unit controlling the puck in the offensive zone and creating open shots with strong centering passes. The Hurricanes, who allow only 2.74 goals per game, should also limit the Blues offense with Brady S.K., Brett Pass, and the rest of the defensive unit creating turnovers at the blue line and limiting the Blues from establishing a strong offensive zone presence while goaltender Antti Ranta 
blank shots on the net. The difference in these offenses as of late have shown a major difference as Carolina is scoring 2.7 goals in their previous three games while St. Louis is averaging 2.5 goals in their last four games. The ability to do well on the penalty kill is critical as the Hurricanes are killing 80% of penalties while the Blues are killing just 69.4% of all penalties thus far. So the Carolina Hurricanes money line is our full game side pick. These defenses as of late have been struggling as the Hurricanes are allowing three goals in their previous five games while the Blues are giving up 4.8 goals in their last four games. Both teams are also doing well at scoring on the power play as Carolina is scoring on 16.5% of them while St. Louis is scoring on 22% of all their power plays. The over is 5-2-1 to two to one in their last eight games against each other in St. Louis. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Edmond and Oilers versus Minnesota Wild. The Edmond and Oilers face the Minnesota Wild with both teams looking to improve from rough starts to the season. The Oilers have a 13-10 record and are on a three-game winning streak while the Wild have a 10-9-2 record and are in the middle of the Central Division. Both teams are looking to improve within their divisions and the Western Conference and the upcoming game looks to be a great one as a result. The Oilers are 9-3 in their last 12 Thursday games and 5-2 in their last 7 versus Western Conference. The Wild are 11-4 in their last 15 versus Pacific and 57 7 to 25 in their last 82 home games. The over is 3 to 1 to 1 in Oilers last 5 overall. The over is 4 to 1 in Wild last 5 overall. The Oilers are 7 to 26 in the last 33 meetings in Minnesota and 18 to 47 in the last 65 meetings. The Edmonton and Oilers wrap up a quick two-game road trip on Thursday when they play the Minnesota Wild. Both teams have been treading water lately and could use a win to start a winning streak as both are 5 to 5 in their last 10 games. The Wild are catching the Oilers at the right time, thanks to the schedule. The Oilers played in Chicago last night and will have to travel to Minnesota to play in the second game of a back-to-back. -back. The Wild, on the other hand, are well rested as they are at the tail end of a seven-game homestand and haven't played since Sunday. Defensively, the Wild have been a top-tier team over the past two weeks and should be able to take advantage of the fatigued Oilers attack. The Wild have done a great job of limiting scoring chances at their net as they rank third in expected goals against. This defensive discipline has helped them keep the puck out of their net as in their last 10 games. They've allowed two or fewer goals in six of those games. Look for a well-rested Wild team, who have a keen focus on defense, to limit the Oilers' offense. So the Minnesota Wild money line is our full game side pick. The total has gone over for each of these teams in their last three games and this game will see a few goals. The Oilers' attack has been solid in their three-game win streak where they have totaled 13 goals but given up 10. They have had issues on the defensive side of the ice and while they will score multiple goals, the Wild will score more. Look for a higher scoring game in this one. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.